Hey guys, welcome to a new choke point development video. Uh, version 1.13 just came out with a bunch of new stuff. It was a pretty big, uh, big update. Uh, so I'll go over what, what changed and uh, the new stuff. Let's start with the. I'll go. Uh, I'll do like a tour of all the weapons we have so far. Uh, first thing I'm gonna show you though is the new Ardoros uh, uh, cloak mechanic. So basically, uh, he's always cloaked now, instead of having one activatable cloak. And that's cool because he's more like the predator uh, creature. And so you can move around, people uh, won't see you and won't, they'll only hear you. So they don't see your your jump effect or footsteps like before. Uh, you're really cloaked, so they can only hear you. What happens is when you shoot, then you reappear. And if you get hit, let's say... Uh, When you get hit, you reappear as well, so taking damage or firing or or uh, swinging your, your melee weapons, that that will uh, uh, sh reveal you, so <clears throat> you gotta be strategic about what you do. Uh, but it's really cool because, uh, I mean, it, it really strengthened this class that was kind of kind of meh before, you know, it was a, eh, just a quick cloak didn't really serve any purpose uh, now it's awesome so let's go over all the weapons so we've got the ARC scanner basically it's a, it's a scanner it shows you where the other people are I'm gonna show you that we had the crush gun uh, this one is like a special gun. It's uh, you aim it at your target, and if you aim it, if you lock on it on him uh, long enough, it's gonna just like instant die from uh, from the pressure. It's like a pressure gun, you know. So we'll try that. And uh, one thing to to show is that uh, well, it's an alien weapon and uh, the thirst blade. Uh, now it has like a uh, a leash abi uh, leech ability. Uh, so when you you deal damage, you you gain some health as well. So uh, that's pretty pretty useful uh, for the the alien. So you can go in and out with your cloak and uh, gain back some some health. So you can see with the scanner, I have a close range, and when I fire, it's long range but narrow. So I see this guy's there. So I don't see him in the close range, but so I can. It's gonna be useful in team uh, team modes. So I'm gonna use that way. I'm gonna go kill him with the crash gun. He didn't know what was happening, so <laughs> totally crushed him. So that's the crush gun. And since I uh, we made this, <laughs> the guy is leaving. Uh, yeah, we made this gun to uh, where you stay hidden. Even when you're using it, so it's a really good Ardoros uh, weapon to use. Alright, so you saw the scanner. You saw the crush gun. Uh, you saw the leech, the leech uh, blade. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the trooper now. Uh, so you know this weapon, basic weapon that we have, we had from the start get the shredder LMG uh, 
So the normal machine gun. You've seen it before, normal gun. Slight spread of the bullets. Now you got this one. Uh, more fire rate, more power, but more spread as well. It's a good, uh, good weapon to shoot from the distance. Uh, just like scare the other guys. If you get close, then it's really powerful. You got this, get your turret and guns. So you've seen his uh, base weapon before. It's a small, uh, small and weak uh, machine gun. Alright, so let's check the other weapons. Get the burst rifle. Shots uh, shoots three three rounds. And the fusion rifle. He's trying to use the crush on me. Show you the fusion rifle now. It's just good to get away when when he does that. Ah, he got me. <laughs> so you saw the fusion rifle. It's a fast, fast uh, plasma rifle. Uh, that uh, pulsar fusion rifle shoots uh, ball projectiles and they explode on contact, so they do a small uh, area damage. Uh, I got the initial rifle we had in the game. That's the pulsar. Got him before he crushed me. Uh, and then the other gun, typical uh, sniper rifle. Trooper's uh, turret is really useful. Helps you uh, kill guys, you know. Especially if you can reveal the the alien. Damn it! When you're you're, you're getting crushed, you you better just like run away, you know. All right, next weapon, the gas rifle. It's a slower, more powerful version of the sniper. And the initial shotgun. So this guy wants to uh, race to the artifact. So let's do that. This level uh, will be uh, shortened a little bit. Really powerful uh, sniper, especially with the turret uh, helping. Put a couple mi uh, mines there.
Better just leave. So he's trying to uh, come after me with this crush, but I can hear where he is, so I can uh, kind of guess where he's like landing and jumping and everything. So uh, if you, when you get good, you're you're all right with the snipe. He's gonna crush me again. I don't know where he is, but he's starting to annoy me. <laughs> Probably on the, the top. He's right there. Uh, he actually crushed the turret. Ah. All right, so you you know that shotgun. That's the basic shotgun. One fire, one pump. All right, let's try the... Uh, I'll uh, use another class for now. The Defender uh, Android. It's the heavy Android. Uh, we'll try the other shotguns. The Assault Shotgun is an automatic shotgun, and the uh, T-Rex 8 Shotgun is a powerful one-shot shotgun. So for the automatic shotgun, just a higher fire rate, it shoots... Uh, fu uh, six times before before you pump. So like that. The other one is uh, slower but powerful. It has less uh, bullet spread. It's a more concentrated uh, shot. <coughs> Crushed me. <laughs> uh, all right. So the next weapons. Get the Venom uh, alien gun. Shoots a uh, slime. We got the minigun Spartacus D7 minigun. So minigun is just what it says. Super powerful. It's got pretty good spread. Kind of low, uh, slow fire rate. And the slime gun. It puts slime everywhere, so uh, when, when people touch that slime. It's just crushing me there. <laughs> He's following me too. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I'm gonna take a faster class. 
Uh, I'll show you the slime gun as, again. Um, and the grenade launcher. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, if you hit somebody with the slime, um, it's gonna put the damage dot on, on the guy. So it's gonna do more damage over time. Otherwise, it's just uh, damage upon contact with this. Uh, the other thing is that uh, you can charge it a bit, so we can do a small hit, a small uh, shot like that, or charge it fully for like a far, a far hit. It's very helpful if you want to shoot on the the ceiling, so you can you can do small uh, shots like that, or like I said, on the ceiling, just do a powerful shot and. Yeah, to get damaged by the slime, even your own slime, but that's the uh, that's game. Now, uh, grenade launcher. Pretty, uh, pretty typical. Now he's gonna annoy me here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's a great combo with the grenade launcher and the, uh, the plasma grenades. Ah. I shouldn't have taken the, the health because I replaced my grenades. You see that? It's like total destruction. You just throw your grenades and your plasma grenades. Oops. Ah! Damn it! He got me. Alright, so the next weapon. Uh, micro missile launcher and fusion core charger. This guy really likes the alien, so I'm happy about that. So what the plasma charger does is uh, we can charge it, so we can do quick uh, projectiles like that. They do small uh, area damage, just like the pulsar uh, fusion rifle. But you can charge it. So the the more you charge it, the bigger the projectile is, the more splash damage it does. But it's also going slower. Oh, see, this guy is using it as well. Now the fun thing is, if you get to charge it fully... You get like a big red ball that goes through everybody and just that does like a million damage. So the person's gonna die with that. <clears throat> so if there's a bunch of people somewhere, you can kill them all in one shot. The downside to this gun is that if you charge it too long, you're gonna die. You just like overload and die. So you gotta be careful when you wanna do the, the red uh, projectile. 
the full charge because you can die if you're not careful. All right, next weapon. That's the new, the latest, the last weapon we did. It's the particle beam cannon. I'll show you that and I'll show you the blade. The blade is a basic weapon we had from the beginning, but it didn't have all its effects. So, it oh, that guy left. It's doing uh, electric uh, dot damage. If I can, if I can find the other guy, I'll show you. Ah. Okay. He's also using the beam, so I'll show you the beam. So the beam uh, locks your your direction while it shoot while it shoots. And he got me with the beam. And I got him, and I jipped him. So that's the beam. Uh, now there's a new blade. The heat blade just uh, heats up, and when it's fully heat heated, it's, uh, it does like a lot more damage during this time. And then it uh, cools down, and it's back to normal. Uh, Normal damage, it, it eats up again. The nano blade, um, while you're swinging, uh, it can block bullets. So if you got somebody with uh, small, small uh, plasma uh, ammo projectiles, you can block those bullets. And if uh, <clears throat> the guy's using like a normal gun with bullets, you can also block these bullets while you're swinging. Even the... Uh... See, I blocked him. I'm, I was blocking the sniper shots. This is really useful. I'll try that again. Oh, there's a block effect there, stuck there. <clears throat> a little bug. Alright, let's try other weapons. Got the cast uh, sword, it's an alien sword. Uh, and multi-wrench, that's a, a basic weapon we had from the start. Let's start with the wrench. Just a regular uh, big hammer. <clears throat> Doesn't do anything special, just high damage. So that's that's its uh, specialty. Now, <coughs> this blade does uh, regular damage, but if you charge it, you can do uh, a projectile like that. So it's uh, the only sword that can use can be used for uh, range attack range attacks. Um, I didn't say that right. Ranged attacks. Uh, let's try to uh, <clears throat> use it well for that guy. <laughs> he overcharged and died. Alright, let's wrap this video up. I'll show you the other weapons. Uh, this car, the ogre. Alright, this one does a uh, high damage, but the important thing is is if you crouch and attack, it does like a wave, it pushes people away. <clears throat> it's really useful to get people off you. And then you can use something else to, uh, to 
kill them. That's pretty useful. <clears throat> I use it with the uh, with mines, so I put mines somewhere. I go the other way and push them into the mines. Also the uh, the ogre, normal uh, engine hammer thingy. I don't know. <laughs> if you charge it, it, does big damage. Very big damage. So it's one you can charge and go around like that. <clears throat> Finally, uh, you got the chainsaw. Alright, I'm running out of uh, recording time, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Gonna wrap this up. Uh, go try the new version. Uh, it's on Armor Games. If you like this video, uh, share, subscribe, comment, tell us what you think. We're very open to all the comments, and I have five seconds left, so uh, subscribe. See ya, thanks.